what's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to use the new lightning spell at Town Hall 11. There's a couple different ways to use it, and we'll go over all of them right now. So make sure you guys hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's go dive right into this. Oh yeah, don't forget to use code Eric as well. Especially if you're picking up that new background, which I think I'm going to pick up right now. I'm going to grab it right now, and so I can have the new background, because we can't miss out on that. I imagine they're gonna have a lot of other ones. What other backgrounds would you guys like to see? Like, would you like to see like a Christmas one, a Halloween one? Obviously, we gotta get them all. I feel like we need to collect them on pretty much all of my accounts. Maybe not all of them. Like, does my Town Hall 6 need it? Maybe it does. I don't know, but we're gonna grab it right there. The new scenery, we're gonna set that right there because, oh my God, it's so awesome. It's so freaking awesome. Guys, oh, look at this. I, oh, that's why I was like, it's popping up as an option on the town hall there. I was like, oh yeah, I already did that. Thank you. Thank you though. All right, so one more thing before we go to the tax here. I, I'm very, very close to max here and I've been a little bit lazy. I thought I was gonna be maxed the other day, but then I realized I had an extra mortar level. Like I upgraded one mortar thinking that was the last one. I thought I was gonna be able to upgrade this one right here and have my defenses be completely done, but I guess I was wrong. So we're just a little bit further off until we're maxed, but we did get the lightning spell upgraded and we'll grab this mortar right here and we are Two defenses left, or one defense twice, I guess, until we're done at Town Hall 11. I guess we can grab some walls here. Why not? There we go. All right, guys, we're ready to go in here and smash some bases. So this is the army comp that we're going to be looking at first. We got dragons. We got a hound. Maybe you don't even need the hound. Depends on where the air defenses are on the base here. But I haven't looked at the base. We're just going to go see if we can take it down and use this strategy. All right, so the first thing we're looking for is what can I grab with the CC of high value with seven lightnings and an earthquake? If I get the queen to circle all the way around here, I can wait for her to be into position and I can take her out with these high value targets here. I can grab it right there. I can earthquake that and that'll destroy the CC and the eagle. Now that's going to leave a hole in the base here. So we need to go finish off opening up the base. So we're going to go in with the king. We're going to go in with a baby dragon. I should maybe even go with like an ice golem or something here, but we'll add the queen. And then we'll go in with a super wall break. And we'll get this king inside. Maybe if I can go in with uh, something in the... Go help tank. Or not tank. Um, get the troops to stay in. Let's see the barbarians are breaking out, so that's working out nice. Look at that. So the queen will step up. She'll take out two air defenses, and she's going to form the funnel right there. Perfect. Now we need to form the funnel on the other side. So I guess we'll go in with an E-drag drop onto this um, air defense down here. I'm not even sure. Maybe we just drop it out here in the open. Let's just drop it out here. Just I, I probably should have used a stone sliver on this one if I had to be honest with you. Let's drop it right here and let's see if we can get this area down. We'll freeze it that. Maybe we'll, uh, yeah, just let it go out there. That, that was probably a huge waste there. A siege barracks would have been awesome right there. But we'll go with a couple of balloons. Go with the dragons. And we'll... Wait for the dragons to actually be engaging that uh, that air defense there, and then we'll drop in the hound. So about now, we'll pass them up, and then we will rage. Okay, looking good. There's a hound is gonna pop. We'll get ready for a board when we start to engage everything else there. Now, we get another rage here, and we'll see if we can get through this area. We'll get a couple means down on the other side here to start to work through that area now if there was a hound in the cc and you know that then you could opt to go for a little bit different approach here and go for a different target other than the cc itself like you destroy the eagle and maybe some expos or something like that but if you know that is a damaged cc and you don't want to deal with it at all and you also it helps if you want to send your heroes in and like if you know it's a hound and you want to send your heroes in after some air defenses like this area right here the cc was covering those air defenses so if my heroes went in there they could pull hounds or ice golems out of the cc and it could cause some big problems it could make so that the heroes don't get the value they needed and then they wouldn't be able to finish the funnel and they would miss those air defenses potentially but if i destroy the cc then i have free reign to put my heroes anywhere no matter what's in the cc it's completely irrelevant because the dragons as long as you can get a good funnel for them and you can get the heroes to punch all the way in and break the ring of defenses around the area where you zapped out like if they can penetrate into the base there all the way up to where you actually zapped then 
all the dragons will easily be able to go around the base there in the same direction. Obviously, this would have been a lot more crushed if I would have used a siege barracks over there because I would have got the P.E.K.K.A. and all the wizards. I just dropped out into an open area and it was kind of irrelevant, but you can see the strength of this attack here. But that's just the idea of dragons. Should we do one more of those? I feel like we should do one more of those. All right, let's try this one here. So, all right, this one's a little bit different. Should we do it as though... Actually, look at this, look at this. We can hit the queen and both of these expos at the same... Let's just do it. Go, go, go. Before she moves. <laughs> all right, the queen is dead. Now we'll uh, quake in here to finish destroying the CC and uh, trim out that area there. So now I guess we'll go in with the heroes. Now the heroes need to go in here and they need to break the ring of defenses and preferably take out an air defense on their way in. So they're going to dive all the way in there and try to get to this wizard tower and cannon so that they break the ring of defenses and form a funnel. I guess for the other side of the funnel, we need to bomb out this uh, inferno up here. So let's do that. Let's go with, uh, we'll pop that king. Why not? And we'll go in with a couple uh, balloons. We'll do that. All right. Just uh, drop it right here. We'll rage it up. Open it up. And let the balloons work their way in there. All right. We missed the air defense there, which is not at all what I wanted. But let's go ahead and uh, pop this queen. Was that a OP balloon going to take it? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right. So we can go with the dragons now. And get an air defense. Or the pound down to help them work their way through. Now we don't need to use a rage yet. Let's just uh, continue working through. We're going to get a couple archers down on the far side here. Let them start working. Just like one of the bottom two. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. So we used a rage up top. So we only have one more to work with. We're just going to have to fight the sweeper for a minute, which is all right. We will rage when we get into the core here. Let's uh, freeze that up. All right. 34 rage. Warden. <laughs> okay. Is that enough here to get us through? Our dragons are going to split a little bit. We'll wait for this uh, arch tower up here to be tanking and then we'll grab it. Grab a couple minions up here. One more over there. And if I get that inferno down in the bottom, then we're going to be in a really, really good spot. Come on, dragon. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Got it. All right. All right. We're looking good. We're looking good. I was a little bit worried about that right there, but I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to get it. Let's go in with a uh, super wall break right here. Obviously, I didn't need it for anything else. And uh, we'll see if we can get some damage on something in there. Because why not, right? Let's uh, throw in a minion over here. And I think we've got enough punch. All right, guys. So this is a really, really strong attack for a fresh attack. When you don't know what's in the CC. But when you do know what's in the CC and you know that it is a hound. If you know that there's a lava hound in the CC or ice golems or something that your dragons can handle very, very easily, then we can do straight after the air defenses instead. So I don't know if I'm going to get this on time. We still got 20 seconds, but we're going to try that next. I'm going to show you a little bit different. I think we're going to go in with like nine. Yeah, like nine actual zaps. Sounds fun. I think we're in time fail, aren't we? Unless this uh, warden can take out that last building. Oh, it's a time fail. We missed the builder hut. I'm oh, sorry. We get the we get the idea for the attack here. You can obviously clean up the efficiency on it. All right, now we're going for nine zaps. We're mainly going to go after air defenses this time. All right. If we can grab other things with air defenses, then all the better. We're going to go after air defenses that are grouped with other defenses that we can also take down, mainly like archer towers and stuff. So we'll go in right here. Oh, we also need to send our heroes in somewhere to grab something. So probably send in our heroes away from the CC. Maybe we can get in there and grab an air defense and an inferno. That'd be a lot of value right there. Let's go see if we make it happen. We got one, two, three. One, two, three. And uh, one, two, three. Okay. Well, that stins out the base a little bit. Now we can go in with an electron probably. And we can go nuke out another section. Go with a couple of blooms. Like, we're not being very efficient on time here. So we may time fail this, which uh, wouldn't surprise me. We got a CC right there that is a little bit tougher to deal with. Yeah, look at that. My E-Drag got the... Here we go. Get the Eagle down. There we go. And got the Sweepers. Perfect. All right. So that's looking good. Let's head in the Heroes down here. And we'll send in the Dragons right up here. 
So the heroes are going to be charged in charge of going over there and taking out the air defense. I can cross this hound across the base because why not, right? The missing one of the air defense or the infernos there is going to potentially be a problem. But let's go ahead and send the. Like I was thinking initially that the. I was going to be able to work my way through those infernos with uh, heroes, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, uh, maybe not, maybe not. Let's pop that queen and let's grab uh, rage into here. And see if we can get through there. We got the queen in the middle there. Causing some potential problems, but we work through it, no problem. Get a couple minions down on the far side. Start to work on that cleanup. Always bring a couple minions. You never know. If they're going to save you the time. Every time you have an opportunity, take advantage of it and get them down. All right, how are we looking? Get um, more minions over here since this arch tower is tanked. Okay. And we get an archer over here as well. Just wherever I can grab anything, I will take that opportunity and grab it, right? All right, do we have enough here? This one is, this one's not as strong as the other one, I feel like. The disadvantage of this one is I'm grabbing out random small spots around the base there. I really had to use the Electron to form a huge amount of the funnel there, but we might still get it here. It's not perfect. And we had a, a did you see that we had an Inferno Dragon that came out of the CC there? Kind of cool, right? I think we're going to get it. This one's a little bit tougher than the other one, I feel like. But it's mainly because you don't get the funnel form naturally and you have to fight the CC. I think we got it. I think we got it. So there we go, guys. Zap Dragons also working strong at Town Hall 11 right now. It wasn't a huge amount of overkill, but depending on where the air defenses are, especially if they're close together and you can zap out multiple of them at the same time or you can get more arch towers and stuff with them. Yeah. Expe oh, and especially if you can get sweepers with them. Take out the sweepers, dragons would move smoothly through the base there. But you gotta get the funnel right for dragons. And the electron forms one side, the heroes form the other, and we zap out to go and take out the big threat. So pretty simple, right? I think we should do some Lalo next. Alright, guys, here's the army comp for the zap Lalo. We have the super wall breaker. We got three hounds, 28 balloons. Kind of like how we do an electron, but the advantage of this attack here is you nuke out almost as much as you do during an electron, except for you get to keep a stone slammer. Now, the Stone Slammer is going to be carrying an Inferno Baby Dragon or an E-Drag or a Baby Dragon or a Dragon. I like the Inferno Baby Dragon because it can charge up and kill an enemy queen that potentially wasn't taken down from the Lightnings or by your heroes. If your heroes or your Lightnings can get the queen, then do it. But you want to destroy the CC and anything of high value around the CC and you want the Inferno Dragon to come out of your Stone Slammer or a Blimp to take out an enemy queen that potentially is left behind. So let's go give it a shot here. Let's go see if we can take it down. I haven't really looked at this base yet, so we'll see if we can get it. We got the queen and sweepers all around together here. So we're just going to grab them. Grab it right about here. And then we'll earthquake out this area here. Okay, so that's going to leave the eagle up, but it destroyed the CC. So now we're going to go in with our heroes and we're trying to go after an inferno preferably. So we'll probably go into this corner up here and we'll see if we can get my king to wrap around it. And we'll use a baby dragon to push the king off to the to the left. And we'll get the queen to follow along and see if she can step in there, take out an air defense, and take out that inferno. Right? Put that baby dragon to clear a little bit further. We're going to go and pop that king. We'll put in the queen now. And we'll go for a super wall break right here. Okay, king, keep on clearing the way there and uh, drive that queen inward. Now the queen can step in and she can use her ability and it doesn't matter where the CC is because if anything came out of the CC, well, it can't come out of the CC because the CC is destroyed, right? That's the beauty of this attack here. So the queen will go to ability and she'll take out maybe another wizard tower on top of that. I think the air or the ground skills are going to stop her up. All right. So now we want to go in with the Lalo. We don't have any sweepers. So we'll just go in with a stone slammer to go in. Uh, I don't even know where. Here? Sure, why not? And we'll go with a hound in front of it. We'll go with a couple balloons all around the top here. Just kind of spamming them down here. Don't really have any specific direction that I'm going for, but if we can freeze up the sweep or the inferno, we'll get a haste there, get us into it. And um, uh, 
is the eagle, I guess. We'll get another haste here. Get all these balloons grouped up. Get a couple of balloons coming in the side here. And um, one more haste here. Sure, why not? And we'll warn now because we're hitting almost everything. All right, look at that. Look at that, guys. Is that what we want? Is that looking good? I feel like that's a triple all day, right? The Inferno Baby Dragon comes out of the Stone Slammer. And this is crushed. So that was not even funneled very well. We just kind of threw all the balloons in. I didn't really have any direction for them, but... Once you have the CC and all the sweepers dealt with like that, or whatever value you can get around there, then you can go in and wreck it. Obviously, if the queen was still standing, we'd try to send that stone slammer somewhere where it would open up close to the queen so that Inferno Baby Dragon could lock onto her. But guys, you can see the strength of the attack here. With no planning, just a quick look at the base here, see what's around the CC. If they pack other defenses or other important things there around the CC, then you gotta make them pay, guys. So, what do you guys think of it? Go give it a shot. This attack is extremely, extremely powerful. Now, I was slow here. I took my time on a lot of these attacks here because I was just kind of screwed around and explaining it while I was attacking here, and we didn't have a chance to really improve on the efficiency of it. But if this was a war attack, then these probably would have been a lot faster. But as you can see, we're probably going to time fail this one as well. Not a big deal. Just showing for demonstration. So, guys... That's what we're going to wrap it up for today. That is a, a one star, but <laughs> ignore that. That, that. that won't happen to you, right? That won't happen to you. You're better than that. You're better than that. Suck less. Go out there. Use Zap Lalo, Zap Dragons, or lots more Zaps there. Just take out our defenses. There's a lot of different ways you can use it. Get creative. Find different ways to use the Zap. That's it for today. Take it easy, guys. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So I just want to point out that I went back in and redid it and I uh, improved efficiency a little bit and I got it with the 15 seconds of spare. But that was the exact same approach. So yeah, just throwing that out there. Okay, bye.